Good luck. Uh, okay. We're going to play good old third foul rook. Um, and try not to get my wires crossed too much here. Deciding, do I play Gokegan Central Rook, which could be fun, or do I just play normal third foul rook? Hmm. Well, my opponent really, really knows theory. I don't think I want to, like, play Gokegan Central Rook against them, so we're going to just continue playing this. Um... I think this is still fine. I apologize that I'm drawing this massive... I don't know what. But I think this is one move order to get into Bishop Exchange territory, or whatever it is that we choose to play. But further, I think that this gold can hold off like whatever this attack is. Um... Hmm. This does raise a good question. I mean, the many, many good questions are raised here. Um, and some not so good questions, too. <laughs> All right, so what am I doing? I think... He's offered a transposition into Bishop Exchange, because I think I played it wrong. I don't know. Why do I lack confidence at moments like these? Um... I mean, I've thoroughly cornered my silver here, so this is definitely not right in so many different ways. Um, I have not fallen to a bishop fork right now. I mean, they're going to open their line for their rook unless some tactic prevents it from being a good strategy. Um... Similarly, I want to bring my king over. If I push the silver, they exchange bishops, they drop here to take the lance. So we have to bring the king over. Just something we want to do anyway. Okay, they defend their bishop. Yeah, my castle is loose. Um, I 
So what I keep being terrified of is this exchange and bishop drop here, but then I can block with the silver, but then they can push this. And Yeah, the other thing I'm scared of is the silver marching up and taking this. So I lose my pawn. It's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. um, we're just going to build half Mino castle and things will work out somehow I'm also considering something crazy which is just twice lifting this gold it is crazy because it leaves a whole bunch of spaces undefended and does not help activate my rook. But it could prevent their rook or their silver from easily, I don't know, advancing. I feel their rook is going to find a way in no matter what. My rook, on the other hand, I don't know. Um... I mean, if I exchange bishops, my position is fragile. Um, I know this is an ugly shape, but I don't see another answer here. This is a very ugly shape. Exchanging bishops didn't seem to lead anywhere positive. So instead I tried to prevent this pawn from advancing. We advance my gold. It's going to be a target for all of their pieces. But at least in the short term, I'll have a gold that could support me doing something theoretically. Pushing my... oh. What? I don't understand. Um... What is this? Oh! Oh, well, that's interesting. Um, that's spooky. So, yeah, they have not moved up any of their pieces to the second row here. So, we might not see a king a return to the king 6-7. We might not see that this game. We might see something else happen. Um, hmm. So this morning we were learning... Uh, wait, I was going to say don't allow the opponent to get a vanguard pawn here. Uh, but then they check us. <laughs> we block with the knight. And we get murdered. Um, that might not be smart. So, we're going to complete Half Mino Castle 
and then consider maybe preventing, although they're not going to play this vanguard pawn right away because it blocks their bishop in. But they might, at some point in the future, do that, especially if I offer a bishop exchange again. Um, so... Hmm. It's my move, isn't it? What am I supposed to play against that? When I've misplaced almost all of my pieces, how do I get out of this? Hmm. It's tricky. Oh. Okay, I'm just afraid of getting... Checkmate it on the Mino diagonal. So we're going to play that. Um, and then move our half Mino up the board. I'm not sure what he's doing. I mean, I see he wants to, like, cleverly uh, switch his rook across. Um, but, like... I don't think it's profitable for him to do that. So here, what I've been trying to imagine is, do I keep this diagonal? Well, if I close the diagonal, he just pushes here. So, okay, I allow this exchange. And I've been trying to read this out every turn to see if that exchange happens, what happens. Um, turns out that doesn't seem to be relevant anymore. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm confused. So, 
My rook is clearly blocked by this pawn. What happens if I unblock my rook? Um, I split my castle. The thought that I'm going to move the gold up to support this. Oh, that's a fun castle. Huh. This is immune to bishop drops. All right. Um, noted. Oh, boy. Um... That's a really resilient shape, these two golds. There's not a bishop drop ever. So the next thing they're going to do is offer a bishop exchange. Um, this is ugly, but what else can I do? Alright. Um... So this is vulnerable to a rook exchange, but thankfully in the next 10 moves, that's probably not happening. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh shoot. Uh, plan B is revealed. Uh, okay. That's kind of exciting. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we do now? I think he's just waiting for me to attack. Yeah. I was afraid of that. So, okay. Yeah, I thought so. I didn't recognize this at first. That's going to be fun to attack, if ever I get a chance to attack it. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, why did I not push the S this edge pawn? I should have pushed that. My opponent was so kind, and uh, I missed my chance there. I mean, I'll have to push in the center next, unless unless we get this, um, and then I have no idea what's going on. Um, I see. Okay. Well, that stings a bit. Um. <laughs> um. I have no idea what to do against that. That's painful.
Yep, we are in trouble. So I'm looking now at the sacrifice and then dropping the knight, forking the bishop, and whatever it takes here. I don't think I'm going to find anything better than that. Um... The question is, do I take here first? Do I try to defend here first? Like, is there any in-between move I can do before this disaster strikes? I don't think so. I could bring the gold back one. Shift the focal point and suffer forever. That's a possibility. Forever slightly exaggerated. No, I'm sorry. Bringing the gold back doesn't defend this either. Um. Yeah, the best I could find is just take this. So if I take that, bishop takes, rook takes, they take here. I have no defense. Wait, why am I trying a tactic to win the bishop when I can just take the bishop? What is wrong with me? I guess what's wrong is that they do this first. So bishop takes gold is not forced. But this raises the next question, like, what's this whole combination about if bishop takes gold isn't in the combination? I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on. And also, like, my reading is terrible. <laughs> um, it's not that I'm not spending time, but... This, how do you read this? So if I take this, they promote the rook, I run away. They're going to eventually take my knight in silver. And I just accept that. Well, no, I could drop a pawn here. Um, it changes nothing. Alright, we have a silver out in no man's land. The question is, does my rook retreat? Uh, I mean, it's sure as heck not promoting on this file, so... I'm so confused. Um...
It's such a cowardly move. So we've got a bishop for a gold. Um, what else is in the material count? We've got a silver. So we lost a silver for gold exchange. Uh, but we have a free bishop. Minus some pawns. Um... What does this gold drop? What is shogi? <laughs> uh, okay. Am I the only person who finds this game confusing? This might be an unexpectedly good move, because even though the dragon could defend... Oh. The dragon is defending this. I said the dragon could defend. The reality is, it's actually already defending this gold. Um, but I get to promote this bishop. And they get to take my silver. Um... I'm confused. Perhaps we both got too fancy this game. Oh, perhaps I'm giving away two bishops and a lot more because I'm confusing how chess works with how shogi works. That's interesting. I've not seen that before. Shogi and chess work differently when it comes to exchanging pieces. Um... Peace activity is quite important in shogi. But also, a lot of pieces promote in shogi. Um, I'll take a knight for my bishop. I'll take whatever I can get for it. So if they directly take the bishop, then I do rook takes and I promote the rook. This way they still have a gold that's off in no man's land. Um, but if I want, I can take a knight. And I'm pretty sure I want. Although the same logic about promotion still holds here. So maybe I don't want. I have no idea. Making decisions and having no idea don't go together very well. Um, no, I played this because I want the knight. I'll 
I'll take a night. Am I gonna check me Mifa? Probably not. Am I gonna have some fun moves? Gosh, I hope so. I would attempt to defend on this line, except I don't know. I don't have a real threat to take the token. Not yet. Oh, my silver is still hanging. Why is this game so difficult? <laughs> so, okay, yeah, my silver is extremely loose here. What's the real threat they're making? Because, like, bringing the silver up uh, okay, it loosens my silver. I see. Um. I now see why they picked this move. I think. I'm not sure. There are multiple reasonable looking solutions, and that makes selecting one painful. I wanted to lash out and bring my silver up, but retreating here looks sar safer somehow. I I saw this. I didn't believe it. Is it actually good? Oh, well, that's kind of clever. I still... How can this be? I don't get it. So what was the strategy here? I don't understand. I mean, yes, they could take the pawn. Is that the extent of the plan? Okay. Oh, this gains a tempo. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. That's not good. The only saving grace is that they don't have any golds in hand. But they're going to get one very soon. Uh oh. Well, that's not great. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, I chuckle because, like, the beatdown cannot end here. Like, There's no way for me to end him repeatedly striking my king. I can try as hard as I want to defend against this. There's just not a defense. And so I chuckle. It's just 
kind of beautiful how easily he smashes my delicate castle. Not that it was delicate from the outset, but man, I made this easier for him than it needed to be. So if I do rook takes, I get forked all over the place. If I do king takes, I might survive for a couple more moves. Um, I'm getting pieces in hand, but this ain't great. Um, so we need to defend this point. Okay. I saw that. It wasn't the greatest of my concerns, honestly. I'll use every tempo I can get here. Um, <laughs> Wait, I'm just asking him to attack my rook or like strengthen his castle. I couldn't find anywhere better to use my knight, but yeah, this is not great. Um, hmm. I am thoroughly crushed. Hmm. Like, unless I outread him somehow, I'm not winning this. Outreading him could be a bit of a challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Bam, there it is. Alright, so what do we do now? And seeing that for the last five moves. I know I'm not supposed to move quickly when I have Biyomi, but at this point, uh, not feeling it. Um, like, what the hell can I do to defend this? Oh. Uh. Uh. So I see this eventually drops, but um. My initial plan was, hey, I'm just gonna take that and pray that it's okay. But, uh, that's kind of me getting checkmated if I go back into the corner. Wait, no, this is me getting checkmated if I come out into the middle. Fair. King 6-3. One of us gets to play our king to the center of this game. That's not my opponent. Although, now that I've said that, he just might. Um, but yeah, we will attempt to survive this somehow through a strong counterattack. Um,
Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I have no idea. Oh, I thought he was going to drop from behind here. Uh, that's interesting. What in the world? I don't understand. I can't... Well, I could give him another silver, because he already has two in hand. Silver is not the PC needs here. Or he doesn't need one more silver anyway. Um That's interesting. I'm not seeing it. Where's the checkmate? Oh. Well, oh, that's cute. That's beautiful. Nicely done. All right, thank you for the game. All right, we retain our rating. Their rating increases. The reason our retaining is retained is because uh, I am at my rating floor. So even though this is in the teaching ladder, we are playing somebody more than 600 points more than 200 points higher rated, so I don't lose rating points from this. It's just how the rating system and how tournaments work. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, so, I have not very much confidence in my opening, so I don't know why. Why didn't I go for it? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I panicked. For some reason, I just didn't recognize it here. Uh... Um, so, like, if we do this... This leads to that interesting thing here, doesn't it? Where there's like this thing. I don't really get this thing. This looks so complicated.
Uh, he can't push. Yeah. I don't really understand what's going on here. That's obviously a very forcing situation. I just am not at all comfortable with it. Um, ah. Yeah. So it won't be something like exchange a piece, drop it, and start attacking. Yeah, so that's not his preferred style. Um, <laughs> okay, he's a defensive specialist. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, I played this cowardly thing instead. And I'm not so sure, like, what happened every time we both offered this bishop exchange. So, yeah, potentially this looks very, very flexible. Um... Yeah, isn't there a difference to go to? I'm not sure. Oh, this is Millennium Castle. Oh, that's right. I haven't seen it since, like, October. Um, uh, where Ladies Pro... Uh, sorry, I'm blanking on her name. She does many good videos with, uh... With the captions enabled. I haven't watched one of her videos in a while, but she pointed out, like, this is the head. Um, supposed to attack here on Millennium Castle. Um, that's supposed to be my target. Yeah. I was concerned about a lot of different things here. I see. So, like, he does have a consistent explanation that um, he does avoid some exchanges, or at least this game he does. This is so weird. Also, I don't know how I'm going to attack that, given that my silver is all the way over here and I just stuck a pawn in the way. But also this looks hard to approach in general with the knight and the bishop covering this. Um, see, I played a very... I don't know. I played this shape that looks hard to break. But it's not where my king is. So when exchanges do occur, I'm just going to get checkmated. Ah. Uh, So, yeah, he built this very strong Millennium Castle shape and then brought the gold over to protect it, too. Um, from here, I need to find some attack. <laughs> but maybe it's too late. I don't know. You thought bishop takes knight would have been very good. Uh, that could well be. Uh, I was just so concerned about various possible bishop drops and not having time to evaluate everything, but um, 
Yeah, I think bishop takes knight might be required at this point. Yeah, if two pieces castle, yeah. Right. Yeah, he's somehow like holding up all of my pieces as I'm, I don't know, flailing about trying to save my pawn. Yeah. So, I don't know, like, somehow I need to untangle, and it's just going to take a lot of moves to do that. I probably need to do something like this. Um, and somewhere in that, I'm sure there's, like, some move order gimmick where everything just collapses anyway. Um, Yeah. Yeah. So because my castle is fragile, yeah, this this uh he's no he is correct that maybe this should be like over here or something. Yeah. And even though I, like, had something of, like, some defense in the center, it just collapsed very quickly. Um, yeah. So, I should find something. Um. So, I consider, like, this and this. I mean, like. Yeah, somewhere should find pressure. It's kind of hard, I guess, before I push the pawn or something. I don't know. Um, maybe threatening something like this. It's so slow. Um, but maybe this is fine. wasn't too happy uh this looks playable um so yeah something like that i i can't just dawdle playing defense the entire game like i did um, yeah, so, again, I'm trying to approach the head of the castle, but, like, uh, this is a strong attack here. Uh, completely missed this. And then I don't know what to try. This looks tricky. Uh... I don't really know. Like, what I tried with dropping the silver looked reasonable to me. But, um. Yeah, I just don't know. Well, I guess his castle is solid, so if I try something crazy, I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, okay, yeah.
Yeah. Oh, there's a reason why he waited for the Silver 5-3. Um... Okay, oh! Yeah. So on 5-3, there's a loose silver in that line. Yeah. Not that it's entirely free, but, like, yeah, that's, that's the general idea. Whereas if this, uh, yeah. Okay. I see, I see. So, that's why I so easily fell into this. Um... So yeah, I guess here I need to try something like that instead. Yeah. Uh, is there a point about this too? Um, I did see most of what he just showed there. Uh, sorry, I'm missing chat comments here. Um, but yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, I guess uh, we could give him the hat, because I seem to be messing this up. Uh, so if we do this, bishop 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Um, something like this, I guess. Ah, so, yeah, this would slow down my position and, um, right. Now I've trapped both my bishop and rook. So this just frees him to build a really strong castle and then eventually find some pawn or other sacrifice to break in. So, yeah, it makes sense that, like, if I exchange bishops, my position's just going to deteriorate. Yes. Gold 3-2 means I don't have a solid castle. So I'm playing to find tactics throughout the game. Yeah. So, yeah, that made it very difficult for me to solid, uh, save my king. Uh, Yeah, this is the conclusion, is that because I can't, uh, because this is controlled here, I can't just do that. Um, so, yeah, allowing third file rook tactics, however risky they are, is perhaps the lesser evil than getting into this position where I just wallow about and get crushed. Uh... Uh, 
Uh, not sure why I didn't play my normal style, but uh, this game just allowed him to roll me over, so that's unfortunate. I mean, I did drop a rook on their side of the board, but nothing ever came of it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's one of those things. Um, so, unfortunately, um, I just got crushed. Uh, By trying to play cautiously, bad things can happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is playable. Um, I've had difficult games with it, but it's definitely better. Because, um, yeah, this way I just had to suffer the whole game. And didn't really get to attack anyway even when I tried to like this he built up a really solid castle and I did not get a quick attack and so either I needed a quick attack that just works or I need to build a solid castle and third file rook encourages building a solid castle and this is very cleverly played though showing like had I been playing from my opponent's perspective, here's how you can handle an opponent who plays like I did. Yeah. All right, so we've got a tip on the way. Let's hear what this uh, piece of advice is. Yeah, five down. <laughs> it can be hard to play offensively. To some degree, like, I've played Bug House and Crazy House before. So having played Bug House, having played like must win situations against some of the world's top 10 Bug House players, I can force myself to attack. Um, it's just unpleasant, but I can do it. <laughs> um, yeah, after your first 100 losses against these world top 10 Bug House players, you're like, okay, I guess I'll have to attack. Yeah. Uh, in the opening, if you can mock the opponent you're about to do something, they will try to defend it. Uh, I could show you that castle of the king when it's in the mid game already. So let's see. If you can mock your opponent that you're about to do something, yeah. So that makes sense uh keeping a flexible position gives opponents uh much to consider yeah here i did not have a very flexible position yeah 
Yeah, I saw that, and I'm like, well, crap. What do I do against this? <laughs> and this might not even be what he's doing. It's just one option of many. Yeah. Whereas I committed to a very hard shape. That's funny, early on they tell you don't move the knights out without bringing your other pieces out. And that's true too. Like beginners, at least I enjoyed bringing my knights out. It was a terrible idea. But um, in conjunction with other pieces placed in exactly the right spots, it's actually clever. Yeah. Yeah. He might be threatening this, but also he could be just having fun about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. That could be fun. Uh, I uh, need to put my other pieces on the right squares. For this to be safe, yeah, like here, this stuff here, this is clever. You don't just get to do this for free, you have to like, play it very accurately. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, you have to have the pawns and the other pieces in exactly the right shape. Otherwise, this just kaboom, it's all over. But yeah, it's fun to be able to play such a shape, as long as you do so responsibly. <laughs> yeah. And you also need to do it in the right move order. But uh, I was a bit forgiving with my move order, wasn't I? I did not play very aggressively. Which, of course, just makes it easier for my opponent to, like, pretend this threat is, like, something they want to do. But yeah, then build... I didn't see that they were going to build Millennium Castle. That was clever. Um, so that's another thing I can keep in mind. And it's not even, like, for sure that they're going to do that here. It's just one option of many. Um... Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, well, baby one dojo and uh, ah, uh, <laughs> uh, Yeah, this is good. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, cool, cool, cool. So, general comments aside, yeah, that was one hell of a game. Let me zoom the board back in for everyone's benefit. At what point would I say this is kind of over? Um, yeah, certainly by here. But actually, um, yeah, I think by this point there's just no recovery. Like, once I drop the knight here and just admit, okay, just have at it, attack me. I mean, I could have run away, I'm still dead here. So where is this turning point? Um, yeah, let's see. So I played this rook drop. Well, no, I'm still, like, severely worse here. Um, where do I think the 
blade is turning. Oh, somewhere around here. I just allow things to spiral completely out of control. From mostly out of control to completely out of control. This is where things fell apart. I was afraid of a silver drop forking the Rook and King. And forgot that I have a gold right here, which can defend against that. Um, so yeah, it's somewhere around here where I just completely let him own me. Uh, which was something. Yeah. So it's easy to get spooked. Um, where was I in time pressure? I don't think I was in time pressure, like, back here or something. I had two minutes. So, yeah, somewhere around here, strategically, and on the clock, and um, in many tactics, I was just losing here. So, um, yeah, playing a little bit more aggressively would probably suit me better. Uh, yeah, it can be tricky... I guess I know I said I can force myself to attack. Oh, so I didn't show you guys the checkmate at the very end. So the reason we resign is because there's this move, no promotion. And then there's no avoiding checkmate here. Um, so if my king runs down, uh, then the gold takes gold checkmate. And if the king runs back up, Taking here, no promotion is checkmate. So that was really cool. Uh, thanks for this exciting game.